Lord, I'm glad. So glad. try to kill me, uh-huh. they stumble and fall. Yes. Yes. Even if the whole army surround me, yes. I will not be afraid. Yes. Yes. Even as the enemy attack me, I will still trust the Lord. Yes. I asked it, the Lord for one thing, uh-huh. yes. one thing only do I want, mm-hmm. to live in the Lord's house all my life, yes. Yes. to marvel the, there at his goodness, and to ask for his guidance. In time of trouble, he will shelter me. He will keep me safe in his temple and make me secure in high rocks. So I will tremble over my enemies around me. With shouts of joy, I will offer sacrifice in his temple and I will sing and I will praise the Lord. I just read from you from the Psalm 27, first through 8. Amen. May the Lord have a blessing upon the reading of his word. You may be amen, seated. Amen, amen. We're going to continue this devotional service by doing uh, hymn 449, Common Meeting. Must Jesus by the cross alone and all the world go free? No, there's a cross for everyone and there's a cross for me. How happy are the saints above who once went sorrow here 
but now they taste of mangled love and joy without a tear. The consecrated cross I bear till death shall set me free, and then go home my crown to wear, for there's a crown for me. Oh, Jesus, back the Gracious, kindly, and heavenly Father, yes. we come to you this morning once again just to well, say well, thank well, you. Well. Thank you. Lord, thank you for last night's thank lying you. down and early rising this morning with yes. all, all, well, all strength in our hands. Yes. Lord, we just want to say thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for the ones that are here. Yes. Thank you for the ones that's on the way. Yes. And thank you for the ones that just desire not to come. Yes. Lord, bless them, bless them, and continue to keep blessing. Lord, bless our pastor. Oh, yeah. May you continue to be with him as his travels. Yes, yes, yes. And bless his helpmate yes. that she continue to be by his side. Yes. Lord, as we continue to go into your house this yes, morning, yes, yes. we pray that you bless the speaker yes. that's going to bring the word today. Oh, yes. Lord, hide him behind the cross yes, mm -hmm. where that your word can yes. be known. Yes. All these blessings in Jesus' name, Jesus, Jesus I do name. pray. Amen. 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 amen and amen. Changed. Oh Lord, I, 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 I know I've been changed. Good Lord. 
for the day are as follows. Uh, the reminder um, for the Big M365 Building Fund Sacrificial Giving Project is still ongoing, and you can get your envelopes from uh, one of the ushers. Okay, today, February 11, 2024, members are wearing red for a red heart disease awareness, and um, these were passed out so each one can get, get one. Sunday, February 18, 2024, there will be an outreach ministry meeting immediately following the worship service. For additional information, please see Reverend Thomas Thurman or any member in the outreach ministry. On Sunday, February 25th, 2024, there will be an ushers meeting immediately following the morning worship service. Also, members are asked to wear their Black History attire or Black History t-shirts and jeans. The fitness ministry focuses on physical, mental, and spiritual health. In order to promote spiritual health, we will be introducing a woman's study February 25th, 2024, from 4 to 6 p.m. If you will be interested in participating, please sign up on the list in the hallway so that materials can be purchased. Sunday, March 17th. 2023, 24, I'm sorry. NBC One Day Revival will be held at 2 p.m. Reverend Ronnie Young, pastor Antioch Missionary Baptist Church of Elberton, South Carolina, will be our guest revivalist. Sunday school is held every Sunday morning, 9 a.m. New member orientation is held every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. And there's a time for prayer is held every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Uh, by Macedonia Baptist Church, Pastor Darrell Blocker, Telephone number is 605-313-5675, and access code is 144-6301, hashtag. Bible study is held every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Tithes and offering may be paid during the morning worship service or with Goodify, Macedonia Baptist Church, 3606 Old Ferry Road, Martinez, Georgia. Amen. Okay, do we have any visitors? Would you please stand? All visitors, please stand. Okay. <laughs> I would like to welcome each and every one of you in, ch in worship, church worship this morning. On behalf of our pastor and First Lady Block in their absence, uh, officers and um, ministers also would like to welcome you. Feel free to join in, in on the worship service. And... Um, Okay, our doors are always open here at Macedonia Baptist Church. Thank you, and by all means, come again and enjoy the Super Bowl this afternoon. Thank you. My sisters and brothers, we just want to welcome you. I brought you here, and we want to welcome you all here. We, we know it's not, it's not you that brought you, but God brought you. He won directly your path to this church, because you could have went anywhere, down the road, up the road, but thank God you stopped here in Macedonia. And I just want, one thing I want, I want to uh, emphasize. I was sick and shut in. We always want to think about them, always. Always try to give them a call or, if, or stop by. You really can't just stop by people's house no more like we used to, like we could walk up and knock on the door and people let us in and speak. But at least call and, and let them know you're thinking about, about them. Uh, I was uh, sick and shut in. This is Deacon Her Herbert Terry, Deacon Arthur Terry, Deacon Avin Lowe, which is here. Deacon is Viola Henderson, our church mother. Last time I heard she was in the hospital. I'm not sure whether she's home or not. She's home. Oh, she's home, good. Deacon Evelyn Lowe. Deacon is Myrtle Williams, is here. Amen. 
Sister Lavinia Gavin, Sister Carla Curry, Sister Margaret Terry, she's here, Sister Vivian Tompkins, Sister Charlene Oberton, Sister Flossie Halls, Brother Darrell Dandy, and Brother Robert Smith. Pray for these people, and, and please, if we can, go by and see them or call them on the phone. Uplift them, and I'll send them a card or something that's let them know you're thinking about them. And I'm going to turn this over now to Liz. <laughs> Good morning, my church family. Good morning. Now's the time for tithes and offering. Would you please stand, face the wall, and follow the guidance of the urshers? Thank you. Father God, our all that you do is for you this morning. Father God, I thank you for the bread that you put on our table this morning, yes, Father God. It was abundantly of food, Father God, to go out and feed our neighbor, Father God. But most of all, Father God, I thank you for the poor, Father God. You said somewhere in your word, Father God, that the poor will always be close to us this morning, Father God. I need to thank you, Father God, for the man that walked the street all day long begging, yes, Father God. Yes, but yes. most of all, I thank you for the man that didn't have it this morning. Yes. And now, right now, Father God, I thank you for the sick, Father God, because the sick is still got the blood running warm in their body. I have no problem, Father God, asking you for forgiveness this morning. Father God, I bless these people that gave, Father God, but most of all, I bless the ones that had it and didn't give it, Father God. It is your will, Father God, that everything that we have belongs to you this morning, Father yes, God. Yes, have yes. mercy this morning on yes. us, Father God. Give us understanding, Father God, of your holy word when the word comes, Father God. But bless these musicians, Father God, as he plays fine songs this morning and sing children's hard this morning. I know right now, bless the pastor, Father God, in his absence. But most of all, right now, Father God, bless his wife as she stand by him, Father God, this morning. But right now, Father God, as you bless the word, when the word comes,
comes, Father God. Yes, Father God, let the pastor three step back, Father God, and the word comes forward. Yes, Having yes. to hold on to your unchanging yes, hand. Yes, Father. Give us understanding one more yes. time, Father God. I know you gave us strength through the mercy, mm-hmm. Father God, but love and understanding one more time. I know, Father God, when we get down so we can't go no more, Father God, when we've done the best we can do on this side, Father God, I ask that you give us a home in thy kingdom, Father God, for your son Jesus is gone a long, long time ago to prepare a place. This is our service prayer in our son Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Come on, male chorus. Everybody, let's give the Lord a round of applause this morning. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. I know we got some Super Bowl fans in the house tonight, and I know y'all going to be screaming when those Chiefs start kicking those field goals. Touchdowns. So I know y'all can give the Lord some praise this morning. Somebody give the Lord some praise. Is it anybody else besides me that love Jesus? I love the Lord because he loved me. And this morning, we want y'all to sing along with the male chorus and that little beautiful one over there as he sings, I love to call on the name of Jesus. Y'all help him out. Jesus, 
He's in bright and morning star. Jesus. He's the Prince of Peace. Jesus. He's the Lord of Lords. Jesus. Come on and help me call on him. Jesus. I said, ain't he all right, y'all? Jesus. I said, I want him to make a way. Jesus. I said, I don't know where y'all. Jesus. He'll turn my midnight. Jesus. I said, hey, something because the spirit is down in you. We ain't looking for the spirit to come in the house because you already brought him in. So there should be a lot of praising going on, my sisters and brothers. My sisters and brothers, we should be praising our Lord and Savior. Now, why do I call you sisters and brothers? One day Jesus was teaching, and inside the synagogue he was teaching, right? And someone came to the door and said, your, your brothers and your mother is out there looking for you. They want to worry with you. And Jesus said, you are my sisters and brothers. Yeah. You are my mother. Yeah. So I'm telling you, if you're in God, if your faith is in him, you are my sisters and brothers. Amen. And I'm going to call you that every time I come up here. Amen. I hope they call you my sisters and brothers. Amen. I do have a word today. Oh, I just congregate to Uda. Johnny, Jesus. I feel the spirit. But don't you play. Don't you play. Don't you play. But I do feel the spirit. Yeah. I feel it. Feel good. Oh, we give honor to God today. I'm the head of this church and the head of our lives. And that's where you always want to keep it. We don't want nobody, we don't want you to let nobody deter you from believing in God. Like I was Sunday school lesson this morning. Oh, King Nebuchadnezzar with the Hebrew boys. You don't want nobody, just thing up a little bit. It's nobody to change you from your faith in God. Amen. Nothing. Nothing. No one. Oh, we give God the honor. Now we honor the pastor. The pastor on his little vacation, him and the first lady, Amen. and we let's give them honor. We thank And I thank him for the opportunity that he gave me to come up here today to stand in his place. Amen. And that's in his honor. That's in his honor. Yeah. When the pastor can lead the church in the hands of someone else. Amen. Huh? But he left two wonderful people to help me out of here. Amen. You know, you know, Reverend Dunbar over there. Amen. <laughs> so we want to give them, we want to give them honor, them honor also. Amen. And I would, oh, I would minister music. Amen. Man, what would we do without you? <laughs> we honor you. Oh, we honor you. And all the deacons and trustees and members and friends and visitors, everyone. Everyone is honored in here. We love everyone. Even the stranger that walks through the door. We love him or her too. That's love. We love here. And that's what we always want to do. Love here. And I got to give honor to my wife. <laughs> if I don't, I'll be shut out the door. No, she won't shut out. But anyway, we honor my beautiful wife today. And also our church mother who's uh, sick and shut in. 
and we want to give her honor today also. In our scripture today, we're coming from Romans 8, 1 through 4, uh -huh. from the King James Bible. So they should have it up there, but it's not. Amen. If you have your Bibles, I'm going to begin to read. Our scripture today, our scripture lesson today, coming from Romans 8, 1 through 4. Amen. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has both made me free and made us free from the law of sin and death. For what the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh, God sending his own son in the likeness of sins for flesh, sins for man that is, and for sin, condemn sin in the flesh, that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Amen. 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 Father God, I truly thank you for this opportunity, Father God, to come before my sisters and brothers, God, to bring yes. forth your words, Father God. I pray, Father God, that you would take me out of it, take Thomas out of it, Father God, and let your Holy Spirit dwell. Let it flow, Father God. Let it ooze out of me into them, Father God. Let every word that proceeded out of my mouth be directed by you, Father God. And, Father God, we pray for every member in, this, in the sound of my voice, Father God, and we pray that they will receive something of your word today that they can go back and share with someone, Father God, if that is in need, Father God. We pray this prayer, Father God, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. 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 The, author, the author of this epistle is Apostle Paul. Mm -hmm. Paul, a servant of Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle, separated unto the gospel of God. Romans has been called the Constitution of Christianity, like the Christian Manifesto, and the Cathedral of Christian Faith. It is noteworthy for being the most complete compendium of Christian doctrine. Oh, I got the word out. <laughs> when we are in Christ, there is no condemnation, condemnation abided in us. When we are in Christ, there is no condemnation abided in us. If we have faith and is doing our best to follow him, doing our best, you can't always be perfect, but you must try to do your best, your very best to follow him. Amen. He will bless you. He will bless us. He will help us. We will be saved to eternal life through him. That eternal life is not just a flesh body. I want you to know that. This body is full of sin. It's full of destruction. It's sick all the time. I woke up this morning, boy, limping so bad. I said, oh, Lord, help me, please. I guess he wanted me to call on his name, and I did. I called him, help me out. And that's what we should do. It is this, this, this sinful body. You don't want to take it with you. Some people say, go come up by the grave and go with you. You don't want this. You don't want this. You want what's inside, your spirit, the real you, that eternal body, that eternal life, which is in, in Christ, is in you. We will be saved to eternal life through him. Let nothing, look here, let nothing worry you. I hear yesterday talking to one of my sisters said, so-and-so, they're always worrying about dying. They're always complaining about they don't want to die. We're all going to die one day. Amen. huh? But what we want to do is be righteous with God. What does that mean? When you die, this flesh body, it goes back to dirt. He tells you that in, in, in uh, Genesis. He tells you that in Ecclesiastes. In several different other places in the Bible. He said it goes back to dirt. But what's in you, the spirit, the real you, that goes back to God. That is you. That is life. That is life eternal, if you believe. And only God can destroy that. Man. man can't destroy it. Dirt can't destroy it. Only God can do that. Yeah. So when you read, read and ask God to open that up to you so you can see it when you're reading Thessalonians, 1 Thessalonians, 2 Thessalonians, and Corinthians 15. Let me open it to you so you can see what he said. You never die if you believe. Yeah. Never, ever. Yeah. You have lived eternity already in the past. You're going to live eternity in the future if you believe. But you got to believe. Let nothing worry you. They was worried. They were worried about dying. I tried to tell them, oh, no, don't worry about it. Just have faith in God. Have your faith in God like the Hebrew boys this morning. Believe in God that if you do take you out of here, you can be with him one day. Amen. Turn it over to God and leave it there. Right there. Don't break it back home. Don't complain to everybody about it right. because all you're doing is stressing yourself out. Yeah. That's what he wants us to do is turn it over to him. Amen. The law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made us has made us free from the law of sin. That's right. 
We are free from sin. Right. Even though some of us, I can't say some, even though we still sin. Yeah. I, can't say, I can't say you because it's us. Right. We still sin sometimes, but we must take it to God. Amen. Take it to him in prayer. Ask him to help us. And also, sin leads to death. That, that's the death we were talking about earlier, about the yeah. soul. Sin can cause the soul to be scored forever and ever. Man. But your soul is you. That is eternal life. You want to keep the soul. You want to always pray to God. Let God have it. Let yeah. him take control. When you, when you can't control it, just pray. Get on your knees and pray. Yeah. The spirit of Christ keep us from, from that sin. It may make us think before we react. Uh-huh. Not like O'Kane okay, never connected with the boys this morning. Uh-huh. He reacted fast and threw them boys in the fire furnace. Sometimes we do that. We react. I find myself doing it too. We, we react and then we think about it. And say, oh, Lord, have mercy. I'm sorry I did that. Man. We find ourselves apologizing. And sometimes the person we need to apologize is all going on about their business. Yes, yes. But you feel like you feel hurt because you didn't apologize. So that would be the news. Let's pray and ask God to help us. That's right. yeah. Being then made free from sin, made free from sin, right? We become the servants of righteousness. That's right. We supposed to do things right. Always think righteously. Do not let that old sin of mind creep in on you. Keep it out. Take it to God. Let God handle it. Yes. Do what is right. Christ's spirit in us make us righteous. Amen. So God can use us if that is his will for us. Amen. He wants us to just be ready. Yes. Let Brother Brock say, always be ready. Amen. You never know when I'm going to call on you, so you be ready. Amen. So, and that's what we always prepare. Boy, that Holy Spirit got me sweating already. Amen. Johnny, you fired me up, boy. Oh, man. I got a handkerchief around here somewhere. Ooh, Lord have mercy. Watch this. For when we were servants, servants of sin, we were free from righteousness. Huh? We were free to do whatever we want to do because we were not God. Now we have God. We know sin is bad. Righteousness is great. Righteousness of God. We were free to think the way of this sinful world. Do you know God owned the world, but God hate the world? Yeah. Huh? He hate the world because of sin in the world. Oh, yeah. Not the world itself, but the people. The people are the world. That's what he hate because of sin. Huh? We got to get it right. This is not the, this is not the way of God. What fruit, what fruit have we then in those things which we're, we are now ashamed of? The things we did then. The things we did as young fellows. The things I did when I used to go to the coffee shop. And, and y'all don't know that. Y'all, 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 y'all don't know that. But I'm ashamed of those things. I, don't, I should never go back and think about those things I did then and smile and talk about it. Take the boys out of the boys. Let's go talk about what we used to do. And talk about the things you're supposed to do with a friend. You're supposed to hate those things because you did them out of ignorance. Huh? You should be ashamed of it. The end of those things... In the end of those things, sin is death. Man. Huh? If sin is in your end, it is the death of your soul, yes. which is eternal death. It will be lighted from memory. If you have a child or a mother or a father that didn't get it right before God come back, huh? They will be kicked in the pit. In the pit means they will be lighted up from your memory. You won't even know they existed. You won't even know. Now you say, well, spirits won't know spirits. Yes, it does. In yes. Ezekiel 44, verse 25, 26, says spirits will know spirits. Yes. You, may be, you may not be like sister and brother like you are now, but your spirit will know your wife's spirit or your brother's spirit. You might have a chance to change them if they didn't make it over. Man. 30, read it. It's there. What did the sin gain us except death? Sin only gain your death. It can't do you no good. It look good. It feel good out here doing all these crazy things. But I know we, we don't got old. We, we don't do them no more. But when we were doing them, they look good to us. We enjoyed them. But now we look back on them with a frown. It started in the, where did the sin start? In this world age, it started a long time ago. But in this world age, it started in the garden with Adam and Eve. What did Adam do? I'm not going to call Eve's name because Adam was in charge. He told Adam what to do, and Adam should have told his wife. Huh? <laughs> Adam chose, he chose the tree of knowledge of good and evil when God did not tell him to do that. What was the tree of good and evil? It was not a talking tree. 
It was Satan the deceiver. Yeah. It was a person. Jesus. Huh? The snake in the garden was not a snake, a talking snake. God didn't make a snake talk. It was Satan. That's one of Satan's names. And, and um, Adam chose the wrong tree. Yeah. He chose the tree of, of, of evil over the tree of righteousness. Yeah. What's the tree of righteousness? The tree of righteousness means eternal life. The tree of righteousness is Christ. He took Satan out of the garden and left, Satan, and left Christ in. That? Huh? That's why we have problems today. He brought that sin. He took it on the, on the ark with Noah, and he brought it into this world age here. Lord I mean, into this, in this present time now. Lord Those things happen starting in the garden. But now, but look at him. But now, made free from sin, we are made free from sin, huh? We become servants of God. We yeah. became free from sin by Christ's death upon the cross. We have our fruits unto holiness. Huh? Be holy as Christ is holy. In the end, and our end, everlasting. Everlasting life because of our faith in God. Man. Huh? You already have it. Yeah. Just believe it and act on it. Show that love that I know you have deep down in your heart for each other. Man. Don't be afraid to hug each other and tell somebody I love you. Yeah. Don't be afraid. Just, you can tell a stranger I love you. Man. Huh? Everybody you see, they can see, they should see that Holy Spirit oozing out of you. They can see the feeling when they see that smile on your face. When they pass you in, 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 in Walmart or wherever they pass you at, they can feel, it's something about you that make them want to speak godly to you. It's something about you that make you want to do that. The fruits we gain is eternal life with Christ. That's the fruits we gain because of our righteousness in him. For the wages, the wages, the rewards... The reward of sin is death. Well, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. He gave us that gift when he died for us up on that old rocket cross. Yeah. He set it up so we can have eternal life. Christ, the anointed one, gave himself as an unmerited favor to save us, to save our souls from the wrath of God, from the pit. God is angry with those who do not believe in him, who are against the will, against his teaching. That's his wrath against. It's not against you. Yeah. Some people say that in the end time, we can all be burned up. The boys in the fire pit because of their faith, will they burn up? That? Huh? No. Not a hair on their head was French. Right. The same thing with us. Our faith save us faith. to eternal life. We must believe that. Christ is the only way back to the Father. Yeah. The Father tell you, the only way back to him is through his son. You must believe that he, what he did for us, how he gave his life for us, the being his, he took, the body ripped and torn unmercifully. It was torn up so bad, people couldn't even look up on his face. They turned yeah. it back to him. Yeah. Huh? Is it a word? Uh. They turned it back on him because he was so messed up. He was torn up so bad. Yeah. You've seen a person, like a car accident, how some of you ever, I wonder if you've seen a really, really bad actor where a person really messed up. It's like pain go through you. I know you don't feel that pain, but like a pain go through you. Man. I was in the wall in Vietnam, and I know it's like a pain go through you. Amen. Like something happened to you. Amen. Believe and trust in God. Amen. Do what he said. For what the law could not do, and that it was weak through the flesh, God sent his own son in the likeness of sin for flesh. Sin for man, that is, condemned sin in the flesh. He condemned it. He condemned it. It's already been condemned. You've already been Jewish, if you believe. Amen. Christ never sinned. He never sinned. He showed us how to get it done in the flesh body, showing righteousness, love towards each other. Yes. Love your sisters and brothers. I don't mean the one that live in the house of you, but I mean the one across the street, the one across in Germany, England, wherever they are. <laughs> love them all. Flesh is weak, not the law. They are our schoolmasters. We said in Acts, Paul, Luke said in Acts 13, uh, 38 and 39, be it known unto you, that for men and, men and brethren, that through this man, Jesus Christ, is preached unto you the forgiveness of sin. Amen. All sin is given through him. Right. Repent in Jesus the Christ. He is the only one that can save us. I know he said where the Lord is there, but he sent his son to save you. Yes. Huh? 
He didn't come himself. He sent his son to save you. Yes, That's why he wants you to have faith in what his son did. Forgiveness of sin is the greatest thing in Christianity. And we find that in Christ, our Savior. Yes. As it is written in Psalm 22. Now, God had a plan a long time ago. Even back in Genesis 13, 15, 16. But this one I'm going to read about it. And Paul wrote about it in Psalm 22. A thousand years before he died upon the cross. Before his death on the cross. God prepared us for this thing. If you read his word, long time ago, he gave his life for us to save us from this world of sin. Told us about it long time ago. And then in Isaiah talk about it, and also about 600 years before it happened, before he gave his life. In the wrath of God, he saved us from the sin, the sinful world, and the wrath of God the Father. Because God is mad with those who do not trust and believe in him, believe in his son. Follow his son's instructions. Follow his instructions. That's right. If you can't do it now, how are you going to do it if you're with him one day? Right. When you're with him eternally? Huh? Man. When he set up his kingdom here on earth? When he set up and bring you in? If you can't do it now, how are you going to do it then? But God knows your mind now. Yeah. And guess what? He won't let you in. Right. You won't make it in. By him that believe us justified from all things. We are justified from all things from which we could, have been, which we, we could not be Justified by the laws. The laws cannot save us, but man, Christ, saved us. Justification combines two things, forgiveness of sin and the gift of righteousness. We are saved by Christ to eternal life if we believe. You must believe. Did I give you, did I give you all my subject? <laughs> the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us. Who walk not after the flesh, but after the Holy Spirit. Walk after God. Do what's right. Do what's right. It brings blessings from above. Sometimes we wonder why we're going through some things. Maybe we need to check ourselves. Maybe something we're not doing. Huh? Huh? We need to check it. For they that are after the flesh do, do mind the things of the flesh, these worldly things, these sinful things. But they that are after the Spirit... The things of the Spirit, the things that are righteousness. Paul said in, five, uh, in Galatians 5, 22, 25, the fruits of the Spirit is love, yes. joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such things, there is no law. Yes. There is no law against doing right. right. If you do things right, you're blessed. Lots of patience and faith in God and his word. As long as we do these things in the spirit, we are above the law. Amen. The law can't touch us because we are doing things right. The law is not bad. People are bad. We are bad. And they that are Christ have asserted, crucified the flesh with this affections and lust. Amen. Huh? We don't lust stop the thing no more. We have crucified that. That stuff is dead. Huh? But I know sometimes I know sometimes we go in the store and see some a pair. Us men might see a nice pair of boots or shoes we want. And be lusting after them. <laughs> Until we get them. Repent. No law against doing right. If we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. Live it. Breathe it. Talk about it. And we will be a pleaser of God. Let us not be desirous of vain glory, huh? Abstentionlessness, pride. Our, ten, our temptation is pride. A new word for me again, y'all. Right Provoking one another. Envying one another. We must not be confined by our own knowledge of God's word. Amen. You can be so deep in God's word and think you're so deep, you end up confusing yourself. Yeah, yeah. And along with that, you confuse yeah. others if you're a teacher. <laughs> we have to be very careful how we bring forth God's word. We have to study this word and make sure we got it right. We must not be confounded. We already said that. Yes. Let, us, let, us, let, let us not fool ourselves right. and don't teach falsely. Make sure you're teaching God's word correctly. Uh -huh. Because when you're teaching, somebody is listening. And that's the soul you're trying to save. If you're not teaching God's word correctly, keep your mouth closed. Why? Because you are murdering a soul if they believe in you. Yes. Uh -huh. You don't want to do that. You don't want to destroy one of God's children's soul. Nor do you want to destroy your own soul. The Holy Spirit brings peace and eternal life to those that believe, yeah. those that walk in the Spirit of God. This is the eternal peace with Christ. Paul said in Galatians 6, 18, 8, and 10, 
He that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corrupt, corruption. When you believe in his flesh, flesh man, it said, it will free corruption. He that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life after lasting. You sow into the spirit of God, the spirit in you. You are blessing God through your praise and your worship and your teaching of his word to others. Yeah. You're being blessed. Respect the first body, true enough. Respect it. It is the temple of God. Let the Holy Spirit work in you. The first body is also the protector of your soul. Uh -huh. Huh? Let us not yield to our flesh. Don't yield to the first body. The flesh have you yielding to a whole lot of things that, that the eye see, the lust of the eye. The flesh react to it. Don't do it. Ask God for strength to fight against the lust of the mind and of the eyes. Because the corner, the, corner, the sinful mind, is enmity, mutual hatred against God. Amen. Huh? For it is not subject to the laws of God, neither indeed can be. This is why the corner-minded people want God out of our homes, out of our schools, and out of our churches. Yeah. Huh? So then they die in the flesh cannot please God. If you want these things, you can't please God. Yeah. You can't call on the name of God asking for help when you're doing things against his will. Amen. Huh? Love each other. Love God. We can't please God in the flesh, only in the spirit. It is the Holy Spirit in us that pleases God. Let us also walk there in the spirit. Yeah. Conclusion. Paul said in Corinthians 2.14, the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of God. Yeah. Huh? For they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. Spiritually discerned. You got to have the spirit of God. First man can't, we can't worship God in the flesh. You must do it spiritually. God must be worshiped in spirit and in truth. Yeah. God is the spirit, the word is the truth. Uh -huh. Worship yeah. him in spirit and truth. A non believer cannot relate to God. The Holy Spirit gives believers discernment. We are not in the flesh, but in the spirit, if so, that the spirit of God dwells in us. Watch this. Now, if any man have not the spirit of God, he is none of his. You're none of God. You, you're of Satan. If you don't have the spirit of God in you, you're walking in darkness. You're yeah. the, spirit, the spirit of Satan. Right. If we don't have the Holy Spirit, we don't have peace. We don't have Christ. And if we don't have Christ, we don't have eternal life. Yeah. You must have him to get eternal life. Yeah. Hmm? But if Christ be in us, the body is dead, because of sin. And the spirit is life because of righteousness. Yeah. The Holy Spirit keep, keep the flesh in line. Christ is life and righteousness in us. Man. But if the spirit of him, God the Father, that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in us, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken us, quicken our smart bodies well. by his spirit that dwelleth in us. Yeah. Watch this. Mortal means liable to die eternally. Right. We must put on immortality. Through our faith in Christ, we must put on immortality. It is our soul, the real us, that we are trying to save. Whom we are trying to save. When we believe, we are quickened, made alive by the Holy Spirit. Yeah. We are saved to an immortal body and soul. Man. With an immortal body, an immortal soul, we can live Forever. Uh -huh. Not just so this, this thing here to fall apart, that ain't no good, but that's for temporary use. Yeah. A temporary use. It is gone. After, like, the, like the battle of an eye with God. Yeah. And it is gone. It dries up and turns back to dirt. We live forever with God, our Father, and his Son, our Lord and Savior. Forever and ever. Jesus Christ always thinks spiritually and continues to walk in the Spirit. It is our road, our way to the kingdom. Amen. As Christians, we should always allow Christ to live and live his divine life in us so others will see it, influence our lives, and also can influence their lives. And we all glorify God, our Heavenly Father, which is in heaven. Amen. I pray God grace, Amen. his mercy be always upon you, my Amen. sisters and brothers. Amen. 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 Now, if you're visiting, and if you're not a member, if you'd like to become a member of God's kingdom, we open the doors of the church. 
Now, the doors of the church don't mean that these doors are open. We say we'll be open. But we mean God's arms are open. He's waiting to receive you into the kingdom. That is his his wish for us. Anyone who's not a member of a church and would like to be a member of the church, you don't have to join this church. It could be another church. But if you can come forward and receive a covenant where we we help you get to the church of your choice, you may come on in. Oh, God. Y'all give a hand a place. (laughs) You can come by a letter. We don't, no, we don't believe in letters here because the letters don't mean that we want you to come because of how you feel. But the area you, not by the Jesus, direction of some man, but by the direction of you, what you believe in. Uh, you can come for baptism. You can come for Christian experience. You, but come. Come and receive this covering. God wants you covered before you go out those doors if you're not covered. If, that is, if that's none, if that don't not be in it, we do have one. But if not anymore, then you may take your seat. Thurman, we have Cassidy Madison coming under baptism. You only went past here. Thank God. She wants to be a member of this church, y'all. So, so uh, get the deacons and the shepherds Sunday for her to be baptized. But Reverend Black is not here, so. Huh? Sunday? Sunday, Sunday. You ready to be baptized Sunday? Okay. So we, uh, the ladies are going to get together and they will tell you what all you need to prepare you for Sunday, okay? Okay. <laughs> Here at um, Macedonia, we don't, we don't vote, we don't have meetings. When somebody want to come to Christ and the church, that's settled. So um, if our deacons and ministers will come forward and welcome our newest member. time for uh, everyone. I know all of us have aches and pains. We have some type of suffering, whether it's, whether it's physically or mentally, financially, or whatever. But now's the time for you to bring them to the front. We have all the call. If you please stand.
this is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Father, in the name of Jesus, yeah. we first come, Master, asking you to forgive us. Yeah, yeah. Forgive us of every sin, every sin we knew about and every sin we didn't. Yeah. We thank you, Master, for sending us the best that you have. We thank you for your son, Jesus. We thank you for the opportunity yeah. to be able to get it right. So we thank you, Master. We lift you up. We magnify you. Indeed, you're worthy. Father, as we assemble in this spot, I don't know what the need is, Master, but I know you do. So I ask that you touch us individually, whatever the need, whatever the illness, whatever the pain, whatever the ups, whatever the downs. Father, I ask that you just touch, breathe on us, Breathe through us, Master. We thank you. We bless you. And God, sometimes it seems like we just can't feel you. And you're just not there. But send us a reminder, Master, that with and through you, all things are possible. So we thank you, Master, for helping us to not see things but to see you. We thank you for the daily reprieve that you give us. We thank you, Master, for looking beyond our faults and still giving us what we need. So we say thank you, Master. In the name of Jesus, we, we still count you worthy. Father, give us, touch us, be with us. Help us to walk like you. Help us to talk like you. Help us to be more like you, Master. For others are watching, and we want people to know that there's no secret what you can do. As we, as we leave this place, Master, hold us ever so close. Stay in our presence. Help us to see you, to feel you, in spite of everything that goes on. Not only in our life, Master, but in this world. We know that you're God and you're a big God. So we expect big things. So we love you now, Master. We thank you. It is in the mighty name of Jesus that we do pray. Amen. Oh, what a word and what a charge for us that we might live righteous lives of faith. We thank you, Lord, for the word that came forth. Um, would everyone stand to be dismissed? And we want to take this fire out of here and keep it burning. Everybody, hey, let the church, let the church say amen to you. Say, God, so let the church say one more time. Just as a reminder, can I see all of the youth after church at the front? All of the youth after church at the front. Let us look to the Lord to be dismissed. God, we thank you for your love. 
We thank you for the life of your son, Jesus, that you gave up on a cross for us. We thank you for the word and the call of action that you've given us today, God. Lord, we pray that as we go out that we might take it, that it might take root in our hearts, and that we might live the life that is becoming to be called a Christian. We do give you honor and glory for all of these things, and we ask that you would keep us safe to our next destinations and beyond. It is in Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Hey, Church.